Well, with a little help from my friendly neighborhood tractor, I pulled the motor out of my 94 Nissan a few minutes ago. I just dropped it on the ground, lifted up the car, slid it out. Simple as that. Well, this is the motor that uh, the woman drove through a deep puddle and it swallowed water. And you can't compress water, so it busted out the bottom end, just like I described. But I pulled it out because I want to take the transmission off. That's a new rebuilt transmission on this car, so I can sell it. I also found out today when I took a load of scrap appliances into Zubik Scrap Metal Yard that the scrap price is the highest it's ever been in history, $250 a ton. So this green piece of snot, I'm sure it still weighs at least a ton without its heart and lungs. So there's $250 and, you know, at least a dozen cases of beer. Catalytic converter is going to be worth $90. These foreign Nissans have expensive catalytic converters at the scrapyard. Nice new rebuilt alternator. Nice new rebuilt starter motor. few other peripherals and miscellaneous, nice rad and headlights, heart and soul's gone. And it finally feels like spring here on April 7th. Oh, it's so nice and warm, it's almost 20 degrees. So let's take a look at uh, the dual assholes that this block has got now. If we look at the back of the block above the oil pan, you'll see that the connecting rod is almost broke right off. You'll see up there that the connecting rod is all bent, so it's got this giant four inch anal cavity at the back. And at the front, just above the air conditioning, and behind where the alternator was, is a, another cavity with bent and broken rod pieces in there. So, remember boys and girls, when you see deep puddles, you may wreck your engine if you drive through, and if that doesn't hurt your car, the water gets in your wheel bearings. And two or three months later, your car starts howling and you need new wheel bearings. So, be warned.